Hey everybody, this is parents and students. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a picture as to what my vision was for the uh, Fort Hunt Community Newsletter. And then you can give me feedback. Um, we can, you can give ideas for how to make this vision or some alternate vision a reality. Um, couple things. One is uh, you maybe have already tried out doing the delivery route. Do you like the idea of having a weekly delivery route? Um, would you like to make more money for each um, time you make the delivery? I'm going to talk about how to potentially do that. So here is sort of the background. I think it would be awesome to have a weekly community paper newsletter uh, that was delivered to people's homes in a lot of cases and then some available for pickup. There are costs involved with doing that. There's time to get content, get advertising, edit. Uh, the paper, the newsletter, etc. Then there's obviously the printing cost, and then there's the distribution cost. The distribution costs are a lot less if we're just putting it out at the 7-Eleven or the Senior Center or Safeway, but I think it would be fantastic to be able to deliver it to people's homes, and that's of course where you come in with your delivery routes. So the model that I'm envisioning is that each kid has a 100 home route, and if some kid wants to have multiple hundred home routes, that's fine, as long as they can manage it. And then I'm thinking creatively about how do we get that, the printing and distribution paid for. And one idea was to have one main business, probably a realtor or potentially like a home improvement company, sponsor a specific zone, 200 homes, that would be two routes, and they paid for the production and the delivery of the newsletter, or at least some a good portion of it. Now, the question is, how do we get them to want to do that every week? Um, and so that involves us customizing the newsletter for each zone. So it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's doable as long as businesses are getting benefit out of it. Um, then we allow a certain number of ads, a small number of ads in the general newsletter to pay for the production of the newsletter. And then I want to talk to you today about your opportunity to sell advertising or basically have your own advertising insert, something that you insert into the newsletter that you can make zero dollars with, or you could make a lot of money depending on how uh, you sell that advertising. So let's talk about advertising for a second. You know, why do businesses advertise? First and foremost, they want people to know that they exist, right? Rosina's wants you to know that they're a restaurant there on Shenandoah in the Holland Hall Shopping Center. Uh, curves, the fitness um, place wants you to know that they exist. Uh, that's especially important if they're not visible from the street. Um, so they advertise. They can advertise in print, they can advertise on TV, they can advertise on the internet, they can do direct mail, all kinds of things. So number two, they think people knowing will lead to visitors and customers. So if they let you know that they exist, somebody's going to come in and spend some money. And then ultimately, they believe that they'll make more in sales than they spend in the advertising. So that's why they might advertise to start up. But then why will businesses continue to advertise? So they're getting prospective customers, they're getting leads, they're getting prospects that they can trace back to their advertising. They're saying, you know what, I'm putting an ad in the Mount Vernon voice and people are coming to me through that. Or I'm putting ads on Facebook or Google and I'm getting uh, traffic or customers through that. And then two, they're making more money than they're spending on advertising. That's the ongoing model. So what we need to think through is how can we make, if we all want this to happen, how can we make the newsletter to be interesting, valuable enough that people want to read it and then they get it and then they want to uh, look at the information in there and it leads to business for the people who are paying to make it happen. But that's the larger question and that's what I'm thinking through. What I want you to think through as a young entrepreneur is the idea of if I deliver 100 newsletters to you every week, <clears throat> the, what is your opportunity? Well, I've already sold any advertising in the newsletter itself. But the idea of you being a marketing and distribution, being in the marketing and distribution business and you saying to the local hardware store, or are you saying to a neighbor who has a business, or are you saying to somebody who has a yard sale and saying to them, hey, listen, um, you can, uh, I will print up a, a one page flyer. And if you'd like, you can have the full front page of that for $20.
or you can have half a page for $10, or you can have a quarter of a page for $8, right? Or alternately, hey, Joe, you already have 100 flyers. Would you like for me to put those in my newsletter before I deliver? That way it's an insert they produce and give to you. So I want you to think in terms of you've created this or we've created this media that you can distribute and, and deliver to your 100 homes. Is there a way for you to get additional benefit? One way that you might get additional benefit is if you have your own business, like you have a lawn mowing business or pet sitting business or babysitting business. Well, you can just put your own flyer in there. But what if you do either don't have your own business or you want to make more money? Well, what if you went to the other kids in the neighborhood who had those businesses and you said, you know, listen, give me five dollars and I'll put an ad for you in this insert. So that's what the inserts, how the inserts work. And it can work in a variety of ways. Either one, the advertiser gives you uh, inserts. So my wife runs Piano Lab and she might have 100 flyers and she says, listen, I'll give you $10 um, and you add these flyers to your newsletter. So you don't have any production costs. All you have to do is insert it. Or secondly, you, and that, that's relatively simple, right? Um, so, and you could do, in theory, you could insert five newsletter, or five flyers into your, your newsletter. You just have to balance that with the happiness and satisfaction of the people getting the newsletter. The second thing though, is you create. So let's say you created the Joe uh, Davis, excuse me, the Joe Davis uh, insert, and you say, here are businesses we want you to check out. And in there, you put a business card size ad um, for each of the businesses or a half page ad. And I'll show you this here in a second. Well, so you have a Word document and then you sell the space on that flyer to one or two, three, four advertisers. That adds a cost to you because now you have to pay to print up those flyers. But the, the adage in business is buy low, sell high. If you're buying a um, 100 flyers, printing up 100 flyers for seven. All right, so sorry if my sound quality has gone down here. I Something happened to my uh, headset. So the options that you have are if you are going to create the insert, then you create a Word document and you can customize it. It can be with your name. It can be with your neighborhood. It can be all kinds of cool stuff. And then you can sell space on the flyer to one, two, three, four advertisers. And here's some of the space that might, what you might have available for sale, right? This is your, this is your product. Um, this is your gateway for a business to get in front of your um, customers. How much might you charge? How much might people pay? Um, you're selling access to the attention of the owners of 100 homes on their route. If they were paying, doing a mailing themselves, it'd be probably paying 35 to 50 cents for just postage, not even with printing. So on 100 homes, that'd be 35 to 50 dollars. So what if you offered them a full page for $15 or $20, or you offered a half page for $10 for $15? How much would that improve the amount of money you make when you deliver the newsletter? Now you'd still have to print up, if you're delivering it, you'd still have to print up 100 copies, um, but you could potentially charge $30 for two half page ads, and that would be a pretty substantial jump on your payment. So decide if this is the business you wanna be in, think about creating a, a flyer advertising your services, you could be advertising your own, you know, lawn care, pet sitting services as well. Um, start with your neighborhood. See if there are any neighbors who have businesses that they want to advertise locally. They're getting your advertising, so they will probably come to you. Um, here are some ideas for advertisers. One caveat is if we do end up getting a main sponsor for your zone to pay for the printing um, and delivery, then uh, you might be not able to sell to that particular business type. Of course, if you tell me, hey, listen, I want to be able to sell advertising, don't sponsor my zone, that's fine, all right? We're just trying to get this thing paid for, and you're one of the costs. We can talk about how that will work. Um, so where do we go from here? Uh, you know, sharing ideas, uh, you telling me what's interesting to you. Um, I would like to do this. I think this would be fun for us to have a weekly newsletter. I think it'd be awesome for us to have a weekly newsletter that goes out to every home in Fort Hunt and having 50 deliverers, 100 deliverers doing it um, or 100 routes uh, and have it be fully paid for um, and have you guys have opportunities to make more money. Um, so that's what I, that's my motivation. Um, and the more ideas, the more connections, the more flexibility that we have in terms of how to do that, 
uh, the better. So I wanted to give you this, in, this overview so you could be thinking about how you can run this like your own little business. Um, and we'll move from there.